Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every aspect of the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a man you can take to the bank, the good co-host bank, Will Hughes. Yeah, Gary, I gotta just real quick ask, what is the good co-host bank? It's basically a huge pile of clones of Andy Richter. Oh, and he's man. just kind of roiling around and like, you know. Just, just keep kinda... smartphones away from him because he's an angry, angry man on Twitter. He's an angry, he has an angry Twitter guy. Yeah. But yeah. I just, so I just placed you it, amongst the titans of co-hosting. I appreciate that. I'm a real, you know, second banana heaven in the yeah. Mystery Science Theater 3000 parlance. Yeah. It's just a pile? Second banana heaven wish. Is it just a pile? Yeah. It's not like cryogenic storage or something like that? Nah. They don't, I don't think that they, once you go into the bank, you need to eat. Okay. So it's kind of like, it's got like a stasis field. Hmm. Yeah. Or magic. Could it yeah, just so be magic? Like, yeah, it can be magic. I think that, I think that we don't have the science yet to, uh, to eliminate the hunger from an Andy Richter, but we do have the magic to do so. God, a Richter's got some powerful hunger in him. It's a, it's a 10 on the Richter scale. Hey! Um, what are we doing today, buddy? Oink, oink, piggy bank. <laughs> oink, oink. It's, it's, it's the piggy, piggy boys ready to talk about the piggy bank. Uh, I must be Danny Elfman because oinko, boinko. Oinko, we're the oinko, boinkos. Oinko, oinko banko. Oinko, banko. Um, Gary, this is just sounds. We're just doing sounds. We're one unusable intro in and we're just <laughs> making sounds. Um, this is really a really pretty bad item. Uh, yeah, it's not good. This is a piggy bank. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, boy, I forgot that you can get this in the treasure room. What a bad day that is. Yeah, what a bad day. And buying it, uh, so it discounts itself. You get three coins on pickup. So cool, <laughs> cool little uh, rebate, like money back rebate. What are the hey, this fuck- item's not that good. Here you go. Here you go. Here's a little bit of money back. One of the biggest fuck yous in the game. Uh, so when you have this, it gives you uh, three items. And then when you take damage, you get one or two cents. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if you are running like Samson or something, cool. That's sure. kind of that's an item per floor. Yep, sure. It is okay. Uh if you get the keeper, instead you drop zero to one pennies. What yeah. an unnecessary kick in the dick that is. It's it's a pretty harsh boot to the old bungus. Like there there's one trinket that makes the keeper playable. Uh-huh. And it's incredibly unlikely you're gonna get that. Yeah, since we have never we have not done the keeper episode, just say uh the keeper is healed by money yes it's the only way he's healed and he can only ever have two hp so you can take one hit until you pick up a coin if you take another hit you die and i Uh, get it because this would make him borderline invincible but so does the swallowed penny and like they allow that i don't know like i just i feel like two items there's so many fucking items and trinkets in this game having two of them that make that character playable would not be too much Maybe because this one's in the shop. I'm trying to justify decisions I don't agree with. It's a real 2019 kind of place to be. It's a, They did it because they wanted to make it harder. Yes, they wanted to preserve the challenge of Keeper. And yep. boy, is that a weird hill to die so many times on. Yes, just over and over and over. Because uh, he's not a fun character. Waiting until you do get the one item that lets you. Yep, instead of the two. Um. So this is, you know, it's fine. Again, use this on blood banks or whatever. Uh, but it's just like the fact that you, you know, finding it in the treasure room, if you can't re-roll it, at least it's passive. Like yeah. it sucks, but like, but buying it just feels really shitty. Like I bought this before when I've been like, I've got 60 cents or I've got restock and I need to like get yeah. this thing out of the rotation. But boy, does it, it's a bad feeling. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll buy this if it's on sale. Seven cents is not bad because it's four cents to drop two, you know, one or two cents every time you get hit. Yeah, if I've gotten a Steam sale, this is an easy pickup. I, I agree. I agree. It's just but, it's not interesting. No, it's boring and not very effective. And which we've is a talked bad a, combo. Yeah, we've talked a million times about the way money's usefulness falls off in this game. Mm-hmm. Unlike in real life, where the further you get in a run, the more money is important. I think that's actually true. I care more about money today than I did when I was little. Do you care more about money today than you did yesterday, though? No. I probably care less about money today than I did yesterday. So it, it definitely, you know, kind of fluctuates. Yeah, I guess fuck me then in my whole thesis. Um, No, your thesis still holds true over a long enough period of time, my friend. Oh, it's like uh, quantum physics. Mm, it's exactly like quantum physics, actually. Gary, it's a lot exactly of things I say on this show are like quantum physics. Most of them. Brain doctor. Oh, Gary, the, um, uh, you know what time it is? What, what time is that? It's time for the QLC. Let's do it, baby. Yeah, because I said the word quantum. 
I, it's, it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, Gary, can you real quick can, describe yeah, for me what you think this segment is? Can we do a quick, uh, a quick no. segment of the QLC recap? For, no, no, for no, no, Gary. It's not for me. Okay. All right, then go ahead. Uh, so the, the QLC is the Quantum Leap Corner. Uh, and it's where we describe what happens in the show Quantum Leap. <laughs> no, no, Gary, it's not. Is it where we do the quotes? <laughs> no. That's Slider Corner. That was Slider Corner. <laughs> that okay. we can never do again because we did it all. We in did. One week. Well, well, I'm proud of us. You say that like it's bad, but I think that we did a good job actually finishing a, a segment, you know? Um, so the Quantum Leap Corner, are we reading the Wikipedia one line at a time? incorrect gary boy you're really not doing well at this particular segment <laughs> well i feel like three guesses is a lot what uh <laughs> yeah no if off. i was a genie you'd be dead yeah well uh, i think if you were a genie i would have had different different guesses you know what, gary i should have said sphinx thank you that's why i'm sorry um so uh, what actually is the qlc for for <laughs> listeners that's where we read the tv tropes page oh gotcha <laughs> kind of close <laughs> <laughs> All right. I believe we have done this four times. I think we've done acrophatic, right? Um, <laughs> sure. Yes. Um, so now we're on to actor illusion. illusion. That's right. And we're just doing the first entry here. Yep. Uh, All right. When, everyone prepare yourselves. Okay. Let's count down to three and both do it at the same time. Gary, no, this goes terribly whenever we try to time anything together. I think we can do it this time though. Okay. Good feeling. Okay. Uh, three. Three. Two, two, one, one. When, when Sam leaps into a college into a rap boy, boy, the, the dean, dean who's obviously in his friends regularly breaks into called, called Dean Stockwell. Stockwell. Mm. God, we nailed it. Uh, really, really good. And did you notice the close, like, kind of tight harmony we did? Yeah, Gary. I, you know, part of the point of this show is that our voices are musical together. Lis- listeners. When we podcast, it's like a musical jazz. Yeah, I I hear your voice, Gary. It's like an angel calling. Mm-hmm. And you're I I hear uh, you calling. Toss salad, scrambled eggs. God, they're calling again. They keep calling they, from within it, the house. Yeah, they keep leaving voicemails too. From in the house. Yeah. Um, Fraser, piggy bank. I think we about got it. I feel like um, we've covered our wheelhouse, certainly. Certainly, and the wheelhouse of this item. If people like this hard-hitting, trenchant commentary, what should they do? Gary, they can go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv and put a little money in our piggy banks. I would appreciate that. <laughs> oink, 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 we're piggies, oink, oink. give us we're money, pi- oink, we're, oink. We're fat piggies, come. Yeah, we're piggies rolling around in our cum, oink, oink, <laughs> <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> Yeah, the Beatles did a really bad song about us. Yeah, they, they, uh, man, Will, can you imagine if the Beatles never existed? Who? Oh my god, I've been yesterday. Hey, Will, I got this new song I've been working on. Can yeah? I play, can I demo it for you real quick? Absolutely. Okay. Um, honey pie! Honey pie! Number nine. Number nine. nine. Number nine. Yeah, Gary, um, it was it was great. We're musical geniuses. Oobly deebly doop. Um, if you like the show, uh, go back in time, kill the Beatles. Yeah, put a little money in our piggy banks. Oh, thank oink, you. Oink, oink, <laughs> oink, 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 oink. We're piggies. Or the we're the Beatles. piggies. Make us into bacon. We're the pickles. Um, and we're also rate and review the show on uh, iTunes. And uh, go see Yesterday, uh, playing in your local theaters. It's Danny Boyle. It's not supposed to be very good, but maybe you want him to make a good movie again, so you want to make sure he gets a little bit of money. At the very least, read that Wikipedia page, because it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I read about the movie. I didn't read yeah. the Wikipedia page. Is that a, this is like an AV Club staff thing, because Zach Hanlon does Fucking that. Fucking Hanlon. It, like, yeah, I know Hanlin he listens. Does it. You were biting my thing. Like, yeah, just what is it about you guys not seeing movies, but just reading the Wikipedia for them? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I also would like to know what is up with Zach Handlin doing that when it is my bit. <laughs> yeah, it's my bit. <laughs> like they put this there for me to read and me to read alone. Good night. Good night.